Hello everyone, my name is Mad. I work with Professor Janet Lees and I will be presenting uh, Measuring Heat of Hydration, a simplified test method for concrete. Now this title has two parts to it, so I'll break it down in order to summarize my work. So I'll start with explaining heat of hydration. So when concrete is cast and it hardens, an exothermic reaction occurs called hydration. The heat of hydration is the heat generated when water and cement react, and this is measured at a, at a standard temperature. So within concrete, the temperature rise depends both on the rate of heat generation and on the dissipation in the concrete. Now we're not usually concerned with the total energy of the reaction, but rather um, the rate of evolution within the concrete. And there's multiple reasons why we might be concerned for this. Uh, two examples on the next slide. And the first one is to do with mass concrete. So if we have a very high rate, slow dissipation, we might get temperature gradients which cause early age internal cracking because the volume change is restrained. Another example is in early uh, construction decision making such as formwork striking as the temperature history affects the degree of hydration and the strength development of that concrete. Now the second part of the title is about simplified test method for concrete. Within this I mean that we want to be able to characterize the in situ properties of the concrete in a way that's practical um, and in conditions that aren't so stringent. Now there are methods to measure the heat of hydration which work very well. Some of the equipment shown here, such as calorimeters, but these aren't easily taken on site. You can't do conformity testing and they require quite um, controlled environments and these are very specialized equipment. So what I've been working on is a test that was uh, proposed here by a fourth year student some years ago, uh, some images from their work. Uh, and he worked with Janet as well and he based his work on some tests that were proposed in a PhD project in Ireland, which aimed sort of to facilitate on-site testing, uh, which didn't require a lot of specialist equipment um, and sort of simplified the problem down. And the test that I've been working on concerns a prism of concrete and we measure the temperature in one direction uh, on a prism that's insulated on all four of the long faces. And the test involves measuring the temperature in two stages, first during setting and second when the hardened concrete is placed into an oven. The, the thermal properties of the concrete can then be found from the general heat conduction equation as shown, which is simplified from the state shown based on the geometry and the test stages that are implemented in the test. And as shown on the image on the left, this test has greatly benefited from all the sensing and modeling technologies that we have in the department. Most notably by distributed fiber optic sensing, which facilitated the production of uh, temperature gradients, both spatial and temporal, which were very accurate. And actually this really helped to refine the test so that it would work on different cements, which is very important as novel cements are being developed for green concretes. And so in the future, what this has achieved is that we can do characterization testing with these fiber optic sensors. And so we'll be looking at other early age or uh, time dependent properties that change throughout a life, uh, the life of a structure. And what we'll be able to find is if we can use the cables for characterization testing, when we embed them in our structures, not just for monitoring, but we will be able to assess the actual properties of the concrete and also be able to make decisions on that. Um, yeah, and sort of assess the performance. <laughs> Thank you.